Okay, kiddos, <clears throat> today you take your uh, Rome test. You're going to need a folder, you're going to need a test, you're going to need a piece of paper, and you're going to need a pencil. So get that, and then let's get started. Obviously, the first thing you want to do is to put a proper heading on your paper. So we're going to put name and period number. Please put your first and last name. And then number that paper one to 15. Don't, don't skip lines. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, take your time, do that. Now, let's go over your folder real quick. In your folder, you need everything from Rome Lesson 1 on. So let's take a look at what's in my folder. You've got two essential questions, and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine vocab. Monarchy, prosper, plebeians, etc. And over here, you've got a set of notes about Rome's land, about Rome's origins, about the early republic. Continues on the back. Challenges within Rome. Over on this page, you should have a handwritten copy of these notes. I printed these off of our uh, screen that talk about how the mountains, the hills, the rivers, and the climate all had an impact on early Rome. Then you've got Roman video notes, but don't worry about those. Then you have Roman lesson two. Two essential questions, and then nine more vocab words that start with tripartite and go all the way over here to include civic duty form and checks and balances. After that, we put a set of notes in your folder, three columns. We have a whole bunch of facts about magistrates, about the Senate, and about assemblies and tribunes. Are you following along? You have those pages in your notes? I hope so. After that, we have outline about Roman government that includes facts about the magistrates, the Senate, the assemblies, checks and balances, Roman laws, and the Roman forum. And on the back of that, you've got this piece of paper, and here's mine, and you should have these things filled out. All right, now I am not going to go back over that in my folder, because you should have your folder right there in front of you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Take this, follow along with me, and put your answers on your paper. Number one. Two and three are true and false questions. Here, let me get something to cover that up with so you're not distracted. Number one, true or false, Rome was built on seven hills because the early settlers were afraid of flooding. True or false? Be sure to write out the word true or false on your paper because if I can't tell your T's from an F's, I'm marking it wrong. Number two. True or false? The center of life in ancient Rome was the Forum. Number three. True or false? The President of the United States has the authority to do anything he wants. All right, we had a lot of discussion about that when we talked about Roman government. So that's one, two, and three on your paper, so you should have true, false, false, true, true, false, whatever. You should have true falses right here. One, two, and three. Now we go to number four. Remember, you pause this video whenever you want some more time to think about a question. If you want time to go into your folder and find answers, you pause this video, you replay this video as often as it takes for you to be confident that you're choosing the correct answer based on what you've got in your folder and what you learned. Alrighty? So, here we go, number four. What river was Rome built along? Was it built along the Tigris River, the Nile River, the Changjiang River, or the Tiber River? Take a minute and answer that. Look it up if you have to. Number five. Before Rome was a republic, what kind of rulers did it have? A. Kings, B. Consuls, C. Presidents, or D. None of the above. 
before Rome was a republic. Number six. Who was the Trojan hero who created Roman society? Was it A. Cincinnatus, B. Aeneas, C. Remus, or D. Homer? Now you have heard of all four of these men. All four of these men sound familiar. So don't pick the one that sounds the most familiar. Find out who was the Trojan hero who created Roman society. Number seven, which geographic feature allowed the early Romans to grow a lot of different types of crops? Which geographic feature? Now, we have a chart in your notes that talks just exactly about this information. Which one of these features allowed them to grow lots of different types of crops? Was it the mountains, the hills, the mild climate, or the rivers? Number eight, how long did Roman magistrates serve for? One year, two years, three years, or did they serve for life? Take a moment, look in your notes. Number nine, why did the Roman government have a system of checks and balances? Why? checks and balances. Why? Was it to help Roman citizens get involved with government? Was it to make sure that only plebeians and patricians shared power? Was it to keep one part of the government from becoming too powerful? Or was it to ensure that only the Roman Senate would run the city? Take a moment, look in your notes. Number 10. The Romans wanted people to take pride in their city and in their government. They believed that everyone had a responsibility to help Rome become successful, either by serving in the government or by just being a good citizen and neighbor. What have I just described? Have I described Latin? Have I described the forum? Have I described civic duty? Or am I describing tripartite? Eleven, which branch of the Roman government was created to protect the rights of the common people? Was it the magistrates, the Senate, the Congress, or the assemblies and tribunes? Pause the tape if you have to and look the answer up. Number twelve, Rome started in Italy. Italy is a large landform that sticks out of southern, that should be an N, sorry, sticks out of southern Europe into the Mediterranean Sea like a high-heeled boot. What is that? Is that a peninsula, an island, a mountain range, or a desert? What, what is the best word of these four that describes Italy? All right, completion once, 50-50. Number 13, during a particular difficult time, Romans chose a dictator who would serve for six months, comma, but blank only served a few weeks and then went back to his farm. Who was that, Cincinnatus or Octavian? Number 14, blank were wealthy and powerful nobles who controlled the Roman government. What word goes in that blank? Patricians or plebeians? And both of those are vocab words. All right, and number 15, when the people met in the Roman forum to discuss politics, they spoke to each other in... Italian or Latin? Okie doke, that does it 
So you should have 15 answers. The first three should be true or false. 14 through 12 should be single letters, A, B, C, or D. And 13, 14, and 15 should be one word each. Right? Yep, one word each. 13, 14, and 15. So make sure that 4 through 12, you don't have any words here. These are all letters. Okay? Answer choices as letters. Alrighty. Double check your answers if you like. Replay the tape if you need to. And then turn your paper in to me. Good luck.